we have an interesting problem. Um, we have a parallel plate capacitor um, filled with dielectric and dielectric constant kappa and in the original configuration uh, the dielectric is um, fully uh, fills the gap between the plates and the capacitor is connected to a battery uh, which provides a voltage difference across the terminals uh, to make uh, the circuit more interesting also we serially connect the light bulb and we wait for a while so that the capacitor is fully charged and if you do this circuit and close the circuit for a while um, we know that uh, the current flows in this direction and the current flows is decreasing slowly and until the plates of the capacitor is fully charged to a maximum charge and of course the upper plate will, will be charged with this connection polarity will be a positively charged and the lower plate will be negatively charged right from this moment the question is what happens if we uh, displace this dielectric with a constant velocity in this direction to the right and when the capacitor is fully charged there will be no current flowing through the circuit and the light bulb uh, will be dim but uh, the question is what happens uh, after this fully charged configuration I, if I move uh, the plate uh, toward right with a constant velocity v0 will there be any uh, change in the current in through the circuit or through the light bulb so that's the question and here you see uh, a, a typical uh, configuration when the uh, dielectric is in motion and some part of the dielectric is still inside been, uh, in the region between the plates and some portion of the plates that we uh, named this portion where the dielectric is displaced by a distance x uh, and this uh, part is uh, empty and it's not uh, a capacitor with a dielectric, but it's not, uh, with, with a vacuum. So the question is, uh, can be attacked. The question can be uh, attacked first to find the equivalent capacitance of this configuration where the dielectric is displaced an amount of x in this uh, positive x direction. If you take this direction as the positive x, so originally this x is zero and the, there is no current flowing in the circuit and the capacitor plates are fully charged at maximum charge and after this moment we uh, just uh, push the dielectric with constant velocity and right at that instant okay, um, we have to uh, express the equivalent capacitance uh, for this configuration where the dielectric is already displaced by a, a distance x so it's not very hard to see that this configuration can be treated as two uh, capacitors which are parallelly connected and one capacitor has side uh, x in this direction well uh, in the uh, other direction, this in the uh, normal direction to the board, this uh, uh, size of the square plates does not change, but for uh, this direction and for the x direction, uh, the plate has side x for the first capacitor, and for the uh, parallelly uh, connected capacitor, which has uh, dielectric between the plates. The one of the side is L minus X. So this represents the equivalent uh, capacitance of this circuit. Then now we can find at any instant of time where the dielectric is displaced by an amount X, we can express the equivalent capacitance of the system. So the equivalent capacitance can be uh, found by just adding C1 and C2 and we know that the capacitance for a parallel plate capacitor is just epsilon zero times the surface area of the plates and divided by d and for c1 
the surface area, since this side is x and the other side is L, it's just L times x. And for C2, this side is L minus x and the other side is L, so the surface area L times L minus x. So this is the uh, equivalent capacitance and it is expressed in terms of the distance x, where the distance x is the uh, distance that the dielectric is already displaced. The next question is, well, if during this motion, if I want to find whether uh, there is a change in the current or if there is a change, what is the value of the current? Uh, I can find this question by considering the charge on one of the plates. Let's, um, let's this charge, Q, be the charge of the upper plate so that this charge is plus and the other uh, plate has a negative charge, which is the same uh, amount. So we know that the charge on one of the plates of a capacitor can be expressed uh, in terms of the capacitance and the voltage uh, across its terminals. So the thing is, this the voltage between the terminals do not change because we don't uh, have any change in the resistance of the light bulb or we don't uh, have a variable uh, battery. Battery is constant, providing a constant voltage, so this V is constant. If there is a change in charge, then this change should be coming from the change in the capacitance. And we already expressed the change in the capacitance in terms of this distance x. But to find an expression for the current flowing through the circuit, uh, I should be, ex uh, I should be uh, uh, expressing this current in terms of the change in the charge of one of the plates. But we know that by definition of the current, the current is nothing but the time uh, derivative of the charge Q on one of the plates of a capacitor. So let's uh, express then I as dq or dt and the q is given by this expression c times v. So the thing is I don't have an explicit time dependence on the capacitance that I have found uh, for this uh, configuration but I know that x is changing with time so I can express this uh, time derivative by the chain rule first uh, well this change in, in charge is because of the change in the capacitance in time and this uh, derivative for the capacitance can be expressed by the chain rule as dc over dx times dx over dt. So dc over dt is nothing but by the chain rule dc over dx times dx over dt but what is dx over dt? It is the time change of x but already it's given in the problem it's just v0 since um, this x, when you move the dielectric with a constant velocity, this x changes uh, with this constant velocity v0 times t. So dx over dt is nothing but v0. And I can easily now calculate uh, the, time, uh, the x derivative of the capacitance because I, the capacitance is already expressed in terms of x. And when you do this uh, calculation, you will find that this current because of the change in the charge of one of the plates, let's call this upper plate, is given by this expression, the potential difference across the terminals times epsilon zero times L divided by D uh, times kappa minus one times the V zero, the constant velocity of the motion of this dielectric. And every term in this expression for the current uh, is a positive quantity v0 uh, kappa minus 1 kappa since kappa is larger than 1 for all dielectrics and l epsilon 0 d and the potential difference v is all positive quantities so, so we have a minus sign in here that means the current uh, will be uh, in clockwise direction it will be in this direction because this is a negative quantity, that means the, if the Q over dt is a negative quantity, then the charge is decreasing. But we know that in originally the charge on this upper plate, which is a plus charge, and it is maximum, if it is decreasing, then the plus charges must flow in this direction, right? So in this direction, 
the current uh, is um, induced uh, as long as the, this dielectric moves with a constant velocity is zero this current will be in the clockwise direction and the amount of the current is directly proportional to the velocity v0 the constant velocity v0 that you pull the dielectric so <coughs> it is uh, it may be an important uh, uh, circuit because by just measuring the uh, current on this you can get the velocity of this object so this can be used this simple circuit can be used as a speedometer right and I mean, as long as uh, there is an object which moves uh, at a constant rate between some conductors conducting plates then i can uh, measure this constant velocity by uh, doing this extra um, uh, circuit elements providing a battery and well you don't need this just put a resistance in here but i only showed this as soon as you start moving the uh, dielectric with a constant velocity you will see when when the uh, light bulb originally at dim you will see the light bulb uh, uh, is flashing not flashing of course it's it's it will be uh, bright uh, at a constant rate and it will have a constant brightness because the current will be constant because everything in in this expression is constant as long as you move the dielectric at a constant rate you will see the light bulb uh, uh, turn on and it is it is bright at a constant rate as long as uh, this motion takes place for the capacitor.